This is the overview video and design screen for Sprite Smash. Uh, what you're going to do in this uh, assignment is design an app that revolves around uh, random sprite moving positions throughout the screen. And when the user taps on it, uh, they get a point and it moves to a new location. Now, the input on this is both internally with the clock firing and externally with the player tapping on the uh, sprite for an action. Uh, one of the things that we need to think about after doing the demo app is to include a scoreboard, uh, giving some type of feedback using sound, to increase the difficulty as the user progresses, uh, have a high score option, and think about other things as uh, having lives or taking points away or even having a uh, life bar, which I'll show you how to do in, in a, another video. So if we take a look at the app itself, we can see our random sprite is moving around. As I click on it, I get points. As I click elsewhere, I have nothing and I have my reset button. If we can take a look at the design screen then, uh, I have a horizontal arrangement brought in. I have a label here. I have a uh, a label for points which I set to zero and I named it points my button one which we could easily rename to a reset button here uh, we have our horizontal arrangement here with our canvas inside of it and our image sprite um, for our hidden non-visible components I have a clock which is what's running this uh, I have a sound brought in uh, I have a text-to-speech app and I have a notifier which will notify the user when the game is over. So once we set up the design screen, we're going to move into programming. So in subsequent videos, we're gonna add into this a little bit more uh, to develop the app to be a little bit more playable. For, but for the basics, we're gonna work on how to navigate this. So please check the next video for the beginning to the programming.